What does Christy think now that her fiance is back? Oh man, everything and nothing, everything everywhere all at once, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I think in season two, we don't really see her get to sit with her feelings too much. So it's, it's terror, it's fear, it's relief. It's, it's, oh my God, what are you doing here? Did I summon you here? I love you so much. My heart, it's, it's all of it. Uh, and no time to talk about it. <laughs> How important was it for you to uh, portray queer culture? Cause I know obviously it's part of your life. It's very important. You know, there are, there are people out there who are struggling to, you know, let themselves be them. I mean, it must have been so much emotion to put into the character. And if you could just, you know, embellish a little on that. Yeah, actually, they when they hired me, they originally had Christy in a heteronormative dynamic wow. in her past. And at the time, I had just broken up with my first queer relationship. It was heartbroken. And I was really so sorry. Her. I was I was really leading with that. Um, so it kind of gave me the courage to speak up to the showrunners and the producers and be like, hey, Christy's queer. And I didn't know how they're going to take it when they, I don't know, it was my first show. I I, I didn't know if I was overstepping. Like, I, I didn't know. But what I did know is that I wanted to bring as much as myself to this character as possible. And, and, I, and they were so receptive. <laughs> they were like, yes, absolutely. Of course, this is amazing. And then a byproduct of that is queer representation on the show uh, in, in, in a very authentic way. So yeah, it all felt super organic and it's been really special to be able to play that, to, to play that out and to be able to bring so much of who I am to that. And to just not have it be some tropey queer relationship mm -hmm. or queer character as well. She's just, she just is queer. It's not a part of her main storyline. She just right, is, right. you know what I mean? And I know, I will, like Hannah Einbinder and Hacks, um, that was my inspiration too. Uh, oh, really? To, yeah, she was just being queer. <laughs> like she, was, she <laughs> dates men, she dates women. It's just, she just is. And it's not her like forward facing right. character arc. So I really appreciated that. And I wanted to represent that as well. So, yeah. It seemed like uh, Kelly with the spike to the head was something that she's seen before as an EMT. Um, how did you relate to that? So I've had experiences uh, with kind of traumatic situations like that. I wouldn't say a pole through the head is something I have no. seen before, <laughs> but I've definitely had to be a part of ending somebody's life before because of a traumatic incident. So yeah, that was a tough scene to shoot emotionally for me because all I wanted to do was just like <laughs> splay it all out because I was triggered. But that's not what you do in those situations no. at all. You you put it away and then you take it home later and deal with it. So, yeah, right. it was. I thought it was really beautifully crafted that the, the in the writing of how that actually goes and for a healthcare worker who has to navigate something. How does Christy feel now that Sarah's back? Uh, she's pretty overwhelmed as we saw in yeah. episode five. Mm -hmm. Uh, she, she wants to go set things straight. I think Christy wants to rid herself of the guilt as well. Right. That, and, and kind of demand from Sarah that that's not what that conversation in season one was about. I wasn't giving you permission. Like, don't play me like that. That right. doesn't mean you can play it. And to also protect the town from her from ever doing something like that again. Does she think that the bile is going to, you know, actually overturn results? Is she hopeful or is she skeptical? I think Christy is at that point just ready to go to bed. Um, <laughs> honestly, I'm she, blaming. I don't think she hopes so. She doesn't. I think yeah. she's that was, it was an it was an it was an accident. Right. So, right. Uh, so she but she's glad that her her angry outbursts had some level of purpose in some regard right. but she's ready for a nap <laughs> <laughs> uh take me back to her and her fiance's relationship how did they meet like did you have more of a, a backstory in mind when you were first uh creating this character like you know how sometimes you have like a a story in your head in season one, not, I didn't really have that formulated because I didn't know that she was going to come back. And I think for right. Christy, like, Christy very much put her away to do her job. Um, right. So it was fun to be able to kind of build that with Kaylin once she got hired. 
And I always kind of envisioned it that they met at work um, because she's a nurse. And I I kind of envisioned like Christy was doing her pediatric placement and was having trouble with some basic kind of skill. And -hmm. that's how she met Marielle. Marielle kind of came in, was cool about it and was like, this is how you do it. And then the rest is history in a way. Yeah, I always imagined kind of Christy being the kind of dorkier one that... (laughs) Marielle comes in all cool because that's also how it goes at the hospital uh like the med school students never really quite know what they're doing they always need help from the nurses so 